The next step of analyzing 16S MySeq data after checking the base quality of the reads is to combine the paired reads to context. So we have the two reads uh, coming from different directions. And now we want to combine these sequences into one sequence. In Chipster, the reads are joined to context using the Make Context tool from the Motor package. It creates a, rever <coughs> a reverse complement of the reverse read, and then it performs a Needleman sequence alignment uh, for the two sequences. Now, if uh, if one read has a base in a certain position and the other one has a gap, then the base quality of the base has to be at least 25 so that it's kept. If both reads have bases but they don't agree, then the quality difference has to be at least 6. If the base quality difference is less, then the consensus base is set to N. The input file for this tool is a tar package, just like the one you used previously for the multi-QC tool. This tool produces several output files, listing, for example, the, the actual sequences of the context, showing the assignment of context to samples, the number of sequences in each sample, some general sequence information, and the assignment of FASTQ files to the samples. I would like to point out that the Motors Make Context tool is not ideal, so it doesn't cope very well with situations when the, where the overlap of the two reads is very short, or if the overlap is very bad quality. And the bad quality problem is often the case with the MySeq uh, 300 chemistry which produces low quality ends. So the developer of the motor package, Patrick Schloss, has recommended that it's better to use or, or to sequence only short regions, about 250, and make sure that uh, you get the full overlap of the reads like this. There is another package called UseSearch, which has a tool, FastQ Merge Pairs, which you can use together with the FastQ Filter tool. But unfortunately, we are not able to integrate these tools to Tipster due to licensing uh, rules. So let's have a look at the output files. Uh, the Make Context tool assigns the FastQ files to each sample based on the FastQ file name. And this output file allows you to check if the assignment was correct. So you can see that, for example, for this sample, it has assigned these two FASTQ files. And this seems to be correct, because the file name is exactly the same, except that this is the read1 file and this is the read2 file. If for any reason the assignment would be wrong, you can actually produce this file uh, in a text editor yourself. It's just a text file. A tab delimited text file, and then you can give it as input to make sure that the assignment happens correctly. Uh, many of the motor tools give also a summary file, which looks like this. So it, for example, lists the number of sequences, and at the later stage of analysis, it also indicates how many of those sequences are unique. And then it lists uh, the minimum, maximum, and median of various uh, properties. So, for example, the number of bases. So, here we can see that the median length of these sequences is 252, and the longest read, uh, the longest sequence, the context sequence, is, is 270. It also shows uh, the amount of ambiguous bases and the length of homopolymers. The output file contig.numbers.txt shows how many contact sequences there are per sample. So you can see that some samples have a much higher number of contigs uh, than some others.